Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raina Jenks and I am here with a summer favorites video. I don't really like to do a monthly favorites because I don't buy or obtain a lot of things every month for me to do a favorites every month but I figured since summer is coming to a close so sad who else feels like there's like like this summer really sucked like I felt like I had no summer I'm in the northeast and I felt like our summer was quite mild um, I figured I would show you my favorites over this summer. Um, I'm gonna start with skincare. It's important to obviously protect your skin from the harsh sun rays and prevent sunburns because last year I did get sunburn. I don't know where my melanin was at that day, but yes, I got sunburn and our ozone layer is deteriorating. I don't care what you guys say. My favorite sunblock because of convenience mainly is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer body mist and I like this sunblock because I just like to be able to mist and just rub it in real quick and go. Um, I don't like to mess with lotions. They're usually too thick and I have to sit there and rub it in. This doesn't have that gray cast that a lot of sunblocks uh, reflect. So um, yeah, it's really weightless. SPF 45 broad spectrum. Make sure your sunblock is broad spectrum to prevent from UVA and UVB rays. So I use a different product for my face. This is the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Face Cream. And um, this actually does a lot. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of wrinkles, help skin tone appear more even, filter UVA and UVB rays, nourish and moisturize, combat free radicals, and it's SPF 30 broad spectrum. Yeah, I usually put this on before I apply my makeup, before going out. So that's why I picked it up. This was quite pricey though. Um, I will put the price of this next to me. But Lately, for some reason, my skin has been breaking out like crazy. So I did pick up, maybe a few weeks ago, I picked up the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I got the little travel size version. I really wanted to try this because um, everyone talks about it, everybody raves about it. Yeah, I like this a lot. I like when I apply it to my face, it has like a cooling effect, like a little tingly going on so I can feel it working on my face. Yeah, it smells really fresh and I like it a lot. This product I've been using since the winter time, it's all gone. This is the Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. This is by Sunday Riley. Her products are amazing. I need to try more of them. There's 1.5% salicylic acid in here, which is higher than what you would see normally at the drugstore. It's a really light oil. I don't find that this really helps with huge, really stubborn pimples. But it does clear up smaller pimples. It does help maintain the skin. You won't see yourself getting breakouts if you use this regularly. When I do cleanse my face, I really, I don't like to use my hands anymore. I feel like I need a tool. And I know a lot of people use the Clarisonic or the Foreo. I'm not really trying to spend money on <laughs> products like that. I may in the future when I want to splurge, but I don't feel like it's necessary. So I did pick up, I was making sure it wasn't dirty. <laughs> I did pick up this little scrubber and why can I think of the material that this is? Um, but it's very hypoallergenic. It doesn't trap the dirt from your face or the old makeup on here. It just rinses off, it dries, and there's nothing here. Always rinses clean. So I don't feel like when I go to use it again, I'm putting back any germs or old makeup or dirt back onto my face. It's always clean to use. That's why I really like this thing. Um, and it has this little thing in the back so you can just palm it and scrub. It feels really good. These are really gentle. They're not hard. They bend, you know, very easily. Like it's not, they're not hard at all. But I do like them. It feels like they kind of like penetrate your pores a little bit more than 
obviously what your hands are able to do. They sell these at Sephora, but I picked mine up in a two pack from TJ Maxx for half the price. Definitely check it out. It's the exact, like exact same thing. So definitely check out TJ Maxx or Marshalls and see if it's there. And then if you can't find it, obviously you can go to Sephora. But my favorite primer for this summer has to be a very affordable primer as a matter of fact. It is the Milani Prime Lights. And I really like this. This is an illuminating primer. It says pore minimizing, but I don't think it minimizes your pores. I think it just gives it the appearance of it blurring out, which is also fine. It's very light. Um, it's luminous. You can actually, I've worn this by itself with just a powder on top and it looks really nice. It just gives you such a brightness and luminous uh, finish. Yeah, just check it out. Um, I'm pr pretty sure this was under $5. Pretty sure, or under 6 at the most. Um, so, yeah. Check this out. So, speaking of powders, you guys should know. You should know what I'm going to talk about because everyone's been talking about it pretty much since January or whenever this came out. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep. I use this every day that I wear makeup. I love the warmth that it gives. It's not overly warm, so I can wear it alone if I really wanted to. If I do my makeup for work, this is all I'm wearing. I don't wear foundation. Yes, I love this. I don't really see myself buying another setting powder unless it was very close to this formula, to this color. Another launch earlier this year, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I got it in the color Amande Medium Dark 3. This color uh, matches my skin tone pretty much exactly. And I use this for mainly under the brow to clean up the brow and for any dark spots that I may have. This is matte, so for under the brows it's perfect. For any spot concealing it's perfect. I love this, I feel like there's a lot of product in here as well, and I don't find that I will run out of this anytime soon. It's pretty much going to be a staple, to be honest. It's just, I don't think it's going anywhere. It's going to stay. Stay forever. <laughs> I got two palettes here. They were high, like, in high demand. You guys should know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about ColourPop. I am talking about the Yes Please palette. Excuse the dirtiness. These palettes are going to get dirty because they are light. But yeah. Yes Please palette and the Gimme More palette. Uh, this is the highlighting palette. These two palettes have been going in and out of stock all summer. And I mean, honestly, I see why. After I got these products and have I've been using them for a few weeks now. Everything actually these two palettes are on my face right now <laughs> If you want to see me complete an eye look with the yes, please palette make sure you go click on my last video But yes, these colors are just so like Bright and warm. I love this um, because it's pretty much an all warm palette and I love warm colors on my eyes um, It's a summer palette, um, but I might just I might what am I talking about? I might. I will be using this in the winter still. Watch how this yellow comes out. Like, that is ridiculous. <laughs> and this palette, um, I can't remember the exact price. I will list it over here. Um, yeah, this palette is so inexpensive. The colors are highly pigmented, easy to work with, easy to blend out. The kick up, you'll get, you'll get a little kick up when you dip your brush into the palette, but it's not anything to be worried about. Not like that ABH palette that everybody was freaking cussing out. Moving on to their Gimme More palette. Um, this is their pressed powder highlighter palette. Sadly, it came with one of the highlighters broken, but all of the powder was still in the pan. It just kind of just fell out. So I salvaged it <laughs> and put it back together with, you know, the 
alcohol hack still works it's just not as cute but this is actually one of my favorite colors too um but all of the colors in the palette are beautiful this one i'm less likely to use just because this one in the corner here just because of how light it is but i mean all of the rest of the colors oh my gosh this one is my favorite it's like very like a very high pigment highly pigmented golden orange like just bam i actually have it on today uh, my lighting is not the best but i hope you get the point oh my gosh favorite highlight i also like this one um this one's more of a champagne golden which would be um great for more of the winter months when i'm trying to calm down on the highlighting a little bit <laughs> yeah those were the last two products i hope you guys enjoyed this summer favorites if you want to see your fall favorites make sure you subscribe to this channel and i will do a favorites at the end of the fall um which is one of my favorite months by the way yeah so make sure you subscribe down below to my channel if you want to see more of me don't forget to click that bell button too so you can see when i do upload new videos um make sure you like this video if you do like this type of video and want to see more of my favorites i will be having a twist out video showing how i get this beautiful fluffy <laughs> twist out on my hair by the way guys since my cut doesn't this doesn't my twist out lay so much better this is exactly the look i was going for if you want to see how i shaped my hair into this cut make sure you go watch my video two it's two videos back so go to my channel and watch that i'll link it in the in the cards <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time peace guys